All right, good morning. It is about 8.45 and the babies need their feeding. So we have the two little guys that you got to see last night. We are currently in a little carrier. Freaking cute, right? So these two. So I'm gonna have them beside me. So what we're doing today is we're feeding them because the little black baby, um, Squiggle, Squiggle is still nursing. So that's what we're gonna do. What I have beside me, and I can unclip you real quick, I'll show you. For my tools, I have a croc little dipper. And inside of that, I have my formula that I've made up and that's Wambaroo. I have a little sock to keep them nice and warm while they're feeding. I have a large syringe with no needle. This is a 10 gauge syringe so I can have an estimate about how much they're eating and paper towel to stop them from drooling. Beside me, I want to show you the different formulas. And this is where down in the comments I have as well um, for donation. So I work with Rabbitats and through Rabbitats also the Vancouver Rabbit Rescue Association. But Rabbitats is the one that supplies all of the food I need, all the litter I need, and the milk replacer. Now there's different ways of doing this. The best way is with actual rabbit milk replacer. And this is Wambaroo. It's made in Australia. It's the only specific rabbit uh, milk replacer on the market that is of any value. If we don't have access to that, we get the kitten milk replacer and we mix it with whipping cream because rabbit's milk is so incredibly rich that just a kitten milk replacer is not enough. It has to be super thick. And what I do in a pinch, so if I don't have my supplies from Rabbitats for the Wambaroo, I get this. This entire can goes into a Tupperware container and then I put I have the ingredients somewhere. I'll put it down in the comments, but then I put uh, whipping cream into it. And those two mixed up makes it rich enough that the babies are able to take that and grow with it rather than just sustain weight. We want them to grow because they're one of the fastest growing babies on the world. I think the blue whales top, but these guys are pretty darn close second. So the Wambaroo is really what your donations are helping us get because it's not cheap but it's also one of the best ones out that we can get and helps us with great success uh, because there's a lot of problems with um, the faders. So you have these little babies and they're great to start out with, but then for some reason, sorry, for some reason they just start fading. Um, they don't seem to gain weight. They don't seem to keep weight. They're less energetic than the other babies. And it just doesn't work. Sorry, I'm gonna sneeze because I'm allergic to hay. This is a project of love. Ah, <laughs> oh, okay. Yep, we're good, we're good. All right, so we're gonna start off with a little squiggle because squiggle is the one that's most dependent on the milk right now. Um, Bug isn't using the milk as much. Hi. I know. Okay. There's dark moments in fostering when um, I'm often the one that's given the babies that probably won't survive uh, because I have experience. I used to be a show breeder and realized the folly of that when I was a teenager with all the rescues who are out there that need homes. And so I stopped and started doing volunteering instead. But because of it, I have a lot of experience with the medical side of rabbits because the vets in my area used to not treat rabbits. And so... That was the case for a lot of people around. So we all learned the medical practices needed and the medication needed, and I have books and books and books. Um, I can't do surgery, but I can do simple things. So I get the medical cases, and last year we lost two, and that's so, so hard. They're innocent little babies, right? Like, so difficult. Squiggle, though. Squiggle right now, she's not keeping, or he is not keeping, we don't know yet, is not keeping weight up. 
Squiggle is a bit of a question mark. I would say we have about a 90% because he's got very high energy, a 90% success rate for him to survive. However, he needs to keep his weight. Um, he's not going to be a peanut, so a baby that doesn't survive past a few days because it's lacking digestive system. Even though it does have another one dwarf in it, I'm pretty sure. I don't think he's a double dwarf gene peanut. But he's not keeping weight. And it could be because he was stressed without a litter mate. And now that Bug is around, he may start wanting to eat more and thrive. Maybe he'll start learning how to eat solids because Bug was already eating solids when he arrived. But yeah. So Squiggles, a question mark. I'm trying not to get attached, but it's really freaking difficult. <laughs> so I have the sock. I'm just going to pop you down. Whoops. Oh my god. I'm very sorry. Hold on. I am not a professional. Come on. Hold it. it. Oh my god. Alright. This is as good as you're going to get because my phone's going to drop again. So here we go. Have a little sock. He's too big for the sock. We're just going to wrap him in the sock. So the sock is just to keep him warm while he's feeding and to give me something to hold on to. And then he feels secure. I have my 10 gauge syringe with no needle. I'm going into my milk replacer. Paper towel ready. Stir it up. And I do a draw. So there we go. And just like you would for a baby, I'm just going to test and see how hot this is. That's good. Okay. Hey, bubs. Oh, you smell it. Oh, there we go. Now, one thing I did want to show you as well, I don't think Squiggle needs it, but he did choke on the syringe at his foster home. So for younger babies, we have the miracle nipple, which goes on the end of the syringe, and then they feed off that tip. Wombaroo also provided these. I'm going to try that with him now because I don't want him eating it too, too fast. I know, buddy. Someone is hungry. So you take the tip, pop it on, and that replicates what a mother rabbit's nipple is like. Okay. Some of that stuff coming up. There you go. Oh, he's a good baby. Now I'm going, oh, so slow. Stop him for a second so you can, and yet you got to swallow a bit. If you check this out, it's so soft in the tip that as slow as I'm going, whoops, it's better than the miracle nipple because it stores it in that nipple so he can take it as slow as he wants to. Right here, bud. Right here. Oh, I like these. This is my first time using the Wambaru. And the rescue just gave them to me to try, and I like them a lot. Because with the, with the Miracle Nipple, they chew off the ends really quickly because they actually go right to the base because it's too short. But this one, he can take the whole thing in his mouth and he still has places to go and he's not chewing on it. You is a hungry baby. So for your donations, this is what it does. We feed babies. Pop 
pause here for a bit. <laughs> 